Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wine and Design. I haven't done these in a very long time, but here we are. If you're new, welcome to the chaos. My name is Ashley. I'm a design director and a creative strategist, and I created Exhibit B Agency, where I help brands launch their big ideas. Now that we know each other, today we are going to be creating a fake business. It's going to be a fast food shop called Burger Bar right in the heart of New York City. The wine of choice today is 19 Crimes. Are we surprised? No, we're not because I'm always drinking 19 Crimes because I love a good red. So I have the Snoop Dogg version. It is the Cali Red. It is delicious. I've heard a lot of critics say that bitter red wine is disgusting. It's not bitter, you know? That's the wrong term, it's dry. You know, there's sweet and then there's dry. I like dry because sweet is childish and you need to grow up if you like sweet. I'm sorry. This thing animates and it talks to you. What other wine does that? But you know me, I'm the deal double G. I told him to shut the fuck up. Exactly, I only like to drink the best. All right, let's get started. Okay, I'm about to roll up my sleeves because I feel like this is about to be real work, you know? This is why I don't do this often because this is a lot of, you know, brain power that I know I have to use, you know, for my agency that I don't, I don't have, you know. So we don't have the capacity. Brand identity is a very, very huge thing. I think people kind of just think, oh, you got a logo a color palette, some patterns, and call it a day. No, that's not what happens. Like, it's a lot more than that. I love the strategy behind why those even come into play. And a little do people know that visual identity is the very last part of brand identity. Like, it's the last thing you think about. The name of the brand is called Burger Bar. And what I wanted to do, I wanted to include all the boroughs of New York and give each borough its own burger. Each burger's design elements on the menu should highlight the unique personality and cultural nuances of the borough it represents using distinct color themes, icons, and cultural references. And the burger presentations will help customers connect with the flavors and stories of each borough, enhancing their dining experience. I gave each borough a burger and these are each of them. For Manhattan, it is the Manhattan Maven, emphasizes the upscale and influential vibe of Manhattan, experts in their own right, a burger that's both classic and sophisticated. This burger is gonna have Wagyu beef. And then for Brooklyn, I did Brooklyn Yard. It reflects the trendy, artistic, and eclectic spirit of Brooklyn, perfect for a burger that's as bold and diverse as the borough itself and I gave that a bison burger. Only because the last year that I went to Brooklyn, I did have a bison burger. So it just like made sense to me. I don't know if it makes sense to y'all, but it made sense to me. For Queens, I did Queens Delight. Captures the cultural diversity and vibrant mosaic of communities in Queens. Ideal for a fusion inspired burger. And I did a bacon, egg and cheese burger for this. You can be in Astoria, you can be in Jamaica, Queens. There's gonna be different people. So. I understand like there's a fusion of people. So bacon, egg and cheese burger felt like it made sense. I don't know. For the Bronx, I did Bronx tail. The Bronx tail conveys the strong, resilient character of the Bronx suited to a hearty, no nonsense, double beef burger. So I did double beef with bacon. <laughs> I'm doing the best that I can, okay? This is what I think, okay? I've never been to Staten Island, so I really had to guess. So I called Staten Island the Staten Isle. It echoes the quieter, more laid back coastal feel of Staten Island, aligning with a lighter chicken burger. <laughs> My first iteration of Staten Island was to give them an impossible burger. I think the chicken burger is a little better. Now we are going to be looking at the mood board. I usually do my mood boards on Pinterest. I am Exhibit B Agency on Pinterest. If you need inspo, you can follow, you cannot. It doesn't matter to me, but if you need inspo, it is there. It's very organized, I must say. I made a board for the burger bar and I'm gonna go through some of them because it's not a lot. Um, so for the Instagram stories, I love how just like ridiculously extra this is. Like lots of text, lots of movement, love that. 
I love extraness. I don't know, maybe because like I just love bold. So I think these are really bold and it gave me a really good idea. Um, I love the use of like different elements in this mock-up, like the zigzag lines and then just like the pop of the food. I thought that was cool and it's like design styles I've used already before in the past. This, I really do just love the like choppy typography. Like it's not, you know, uniform or anything. It's kind of just like very New York City. Like I would see something like that in New York City. For this, I love the idea of mocking up a menu. That's really all that was. This, I like the color palette. I feel like when you're doing fast food or like food in general, like yellow, red, orange are like really common colors that represent food. This, I really, really love. I might even like steal this entire like look and feel. I love like the cutout like sticker of the burger. I love the fire of the burger. I, I love everything about this. I'm thinking that maybe each burger for each borough gets its own sticker or something. I don't know. Um, this, I really just love the mock-up of it. I actually found a mock-up kind of similar to it. And then um, this, I love the logo. Like this was really fire. Whoever did this, this was really cool. Again, this is the same fire. Like, I literally think I'm going to be doing something like, like, I love this so much. It's really good. I might be colonizing this. I don't know. They did a good job, whoever did this. Um, here's another pattern that I really do like. It is blurry. Yikes. Anyway, this I really like because I feel like whenever I go to New York and I go to, like, you know, not yet a fast food joint. It's usually like typography that looks like someone wrote it, like handwritten typography. So I kind of like this for like napkins or like table or like the paper that it comes in. Like, I love this. So this is the kind of look and feel I'm thinking about. I left this board open if you want to go look at it. If not, that's fine. I don't care. Do what you want. Right now we are going to the logo. I've already chosen the three fonts that I want to use. I don't want to make this extra long, take you through my thought process, all that. Blah, 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 blah. It takes forever, honestly, and the fact that I can even think of this right now in this short amount of time is honestly beyond me. Anyway, so I have these three fonts. These are the same font family, but one is like, this is all caps, and this is caps and lowercase, just to give it a different look and feel. So I really, really like, I really love the this one here i love this one this one is a font that i bought for like 80 bucks and never used so i'm like what can i use it for you know but i really do love this font as well it's called 800g this one is called berg press i really do love this because i feel like i can manipulate it to to be burger bar nyc so i might guys i already decided it's going to be this one. Sorry to the others. You have been eliminated. So I think this is the kind of vibe I want to go for, for the burger bar NYC. I'm going to just start designing. I, I don't like talking. <laughs> I just want to drink my wine and listen to music. So enjoy while I design and figure out what the logo should look like. I had to go to sleep because I was tired so we're picking up on the next day okay so this is pretty much where I left off yesterday uh, this is what I landed on I think I had NYC under the R before I kind of moved it into the B so that I can do this sub mark so this is this is the logo this is what I'm working with this is what I'm gonna keep um, moving on Moving on, I wanted to do a color palette. I'm gonna be working on the color palette now and upon my research, I came across there are different flags for each borough and just for the city of New York itself. So I'm going to 
make this as authentic as I can and try to pull from some of the colors that these flags have. So moving into the first one, this is, I don't know, a flag or crescent for the borough of Brooklyn. Did not even know that this existed. So I'm going to just, I think I just want five colors because there's five boroughs. So no need to create a headache for no reason. All right, I'm just gonna start pulling colors, so yeah. This is for Queens, which low key kind of makes sense. <laughs> Actually, I need more. Is that right in there? I feel like this is becoming a very solid color palette. I'm not even gonna yai. Okay, that's done. Next is, this is the flag for New York City. Do I need anything from here? No. And then this is the flag for the Bronx. I lived there a good majority of my life and I never knew that. So that's very crazy. I'll take the orange. Kind of like it. But in the comments, leave if you knew that each borough had a flag because I definitely did not. Did not know that. I'm gonna take this red too. I mean, it's not that far off from the other red. What about the, what are these like little berries? Okay. And I think this is for Staten Island. <laughs> this is the Staten Island flag, but I feel like I have these colors already. This just looks crazy. What is going on up in here? Who is she? And whose ship is that? See, I need to do more research onto this, like what each flag actually represents because this is actually so interesting to me that I just never even knew to even like look for this. So this is crazy. Um, I'll do that another time. Um, so these are the colors that we're working with here. Because we are dealing with food, the main like primary colors that are associated with food are red, yellow, orange, and blue. So. If you think about a majority of your fast food restaurants, they are going to have red, yellow, blue, orange of some sort. Like it's just gonna have one of those colors in there. I don't know why those colors represent food, but it just does for some reason. So I'm going to probably pull those colors first and see what we're working with. Okay, honestly, these other colors could go. <laughs> don't really want them. Okay, so I put this blue above the darker blue because I'm not sure what direction I wanna go in. I kinda like the darker blue. Okay, so I'm checking fast food restaurant colors to see. Okay, we got, we got a light blue here-ish. But you see what I mean? A lot of yellow, a lot of red, green don't really s chipotle is black i did not know that that's interesting a lot of people use dark blue so we're gonna go with the dark blue not because i want it but because it's right okay so bye bye so these are the colors we're working with this uh this red feels very dull not that i want it to be super bright or anything but it needs to have some life i'm just gonna raise it a bit Okay, so we have color palettes here. Let's see. All right, this feels right, you know? Each borough gets a color. Off camera, I got this image off the Googles and I traced, <laughs> I traced all the boroughs 
they're not exactly you know up to par but i mean like i can't really tell which one's which to be honest i think this is queens this is brooklyn down here we got manhattan what is this oh maybe this is staten island i don't even know which one's which oh my gosh this one's staten island so that goes down here um, this is the Bronx and I was dying when I was doing this because I'm like, why does it low key like look like a ghost about to kick your ass? I don't know. Anyway, um, we have Manhattan, we have the, oops, we have Manhattan, we have the Bronx, we have, I'm assuming this is Queens. I'm going to assume this is Brooklyn. Oh yeah, that fits. Yeah, that makes sense. And then this is Staten Island. I didn't realize Staten Island is literally just over there no shade to anyone that comes from staten island we we love every borough okay i kind of want to assign a color to each borough i don't know why it just feels right i'm going to uh give each borough its own color so i have to think about this i think i'm gonna make manhattan green because that's where all the money people are that green money dollars make sense uh, I'm gonna put <laughs> the Bronx red because I feel like there's a lot of bloodshed there. I'm gonna make Staten Island blue only because it's like in the middle of the water. <laughs> um, hmm. And then we have orange and yellow. I'm gonna make Queens yellow because. I feel like there's mad Jamaicans there and yellow is in the Jamaican flag. And then last but not least, Brooklyn is gonna be orange. I don't really know what that means for Brooklyn. If you know what that means for Brooklyn, please be my guest and you let me know. All right, we have, <laughs> we have our, um, burrows here. This is so unserious. I literally cannot. I think I want to put these into a pattern of some sort. So that's why I did this. So just, just stay with me, people. Just stay with me. Okay. I found this, um, food element thing here in Envato. It's called Burger Fast Food Elements. And these are just illustrations. Um, they're really, really cool. So, um, I'm gonna use this. It comes in an EPS file, but I can open it in Illustrator. So it's here in Illustrator, and then these, as you can see, I can click on them, and they're like individual things. Um, so I'm gonna make a pattern um, using the logo, using the burrows, and using some burgers. <laughs> So I'm going to stop talking here and um, just design because I don't like talking through this. So enjoy. You know what? Rome wasn't built in a day. 
so you can't expect that much from me okay i'm doing the best that i can we are going to get into some mock-ups now this is the fun part for me because that means that this video is about to end Thank you guys so much for watching. This was so much fun. Would you guys eat here? I would. I would get the Manhattan and I would get the Bronx. Which one would you get? If you like what you see here today, please like and subscribe. If you don't like it, then I won't do these anymore. I'm not doing this for no reason. Bye.